the whole thing wobbing. Guys, I'm gonna go over the best way to get chocolate, the cheapest way to get chocolate in Madden 24, and the best way to spend it. Now, I do wanna give a shout out to Todd Karam for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid, make sure you guys are sub to the channel, turn notification bell on, and comment down below, Noti Gang. Also, if you guys have not already checked out Underdog Fantasy, you can sign up right now using code ZERK to double your first deposit up to $100. New users will also get this Jokic 0.5 point special. There also was another special special available earlier today only available for about an hour and a half though if you guys are not in an underdog you're missing out on all of the specials all right guys so let's go ahead and break down all of the math behind this promo in the best way to get chocolate now i do want to let you guys know that you guys can get chocolate aside from just quick selling players which is what i'm going to be talking about today going over the math breakdown behind all of the players all the prices and all of the chocolate value behind them but you can actually go ahead and play the house rules event to get chocolate all also, there's some in the field pass and the solo challenges i will let you know though it is a lot of wins that you guys have to get in that house rules event to even be able to get one of these 98 overall players right here you know for this many chocolates for the 12,500, it's like 87 wins in a row that you would need because for every single win in a row that you get you can get up to five wins in a row and it kind of like stacks up with how much chocolate you can get yeah, it's a lot of wins. That being said, though, I have all of the math in front of me. I know normally I have a face cam for these videos, but as you guys know, I'm currently away in North Carolina with Underdog, which is also why you may notice the mic is a little bit different. I'm not yelling at the top of my lungs in my house. I am instead in a hotel trying to be very polite that being said though i'm gonna break down the math for you guys really quickly so starting off what is the best overall to buy for chocolate well when you go through you can only go ahead and get 98s 95s 92s and 89s i do believe the 99 overalls uh quick sell for coins you know the limited uh starting off 89 overalls guys they quick sell for 160 chocolate and they go for 16,000 coins on average again all this is based on the time that i'm recording this video as you guys can see that right now would be 239 p.m so all of that is based on 2 39 p.m the cheapest up that would be 100 coins per chocolate that you are spending on 89 overalls that is by far the worst if you pull an 89 i would just sell it next up we have 92 overalls and they are 610 chocolate currently selling for about 30,000 coins now i will let you guys know that as of the very moment that i'm recording this video they are the best value they are currently 49.18 coins per chocolate which basically means that is the cheapest way to go ahead and get chocolate currently 95 overalls you get 2420 chocolate for them they are currently selling for 140k they actually cost you 57.8 coins per chocolate and then finally 98 overalls 9560 chocolate for 510,000 coins and they currently are at a ratio of 53.3 coins per chocolate so as of this moment 92s as i said if you can get them for around 30,000 coins they are the best value now if 98s start to fall down a little bit which we may see next week with part two of the promo potentially you know we might see some 98 overalls get a little bit cheaper you know we get some special offers we get more 98 if they fall down uh, quite a bit so let's say around like 460k 470,000 coins by next week then they could potentially overtake 92s as the best value but as this very moment 49.18 coins per is the best ratio so now that we know the cheapest way to go ahead and get chocolate let's talk about the actual value behind every single one of these offers in the store the ones that i personally will be doing and the ones that maybe you also want to take a look into doing now as i did mention to you guys 49.18 coins per chocolate we can now take that ratio and multiply every single one of these to kind of get the true value behind them and uh straight up to be honest you guys you should not be spending your chocolate truly on in my opinion any of these packs right here okay any of these packs now if you're going to the only one that i think is actually worth it would be the bnd 98 overall uh the 98 right here i mean that's just ridiculous how much you have to spend for that the bnd one though that is about 260,000 coins that you're spending on a bnd 98 now if there's a 98 like Andrew Thomas, I would say, which by the way, currently as this moment is not in the game, uh, but he was supposed to be. But Andrew Thomas, you know, getting that zero P scare protector, that is an end game left tackle right there. Okay. So if you want to spend your potentially, you know, chocolate to get a 
BMD 98 Andrew Thomas and get your left tackle for the rest of the year with that zero AP linchpin and zero AP secure protector. I don't blame you for that one. This is actually the only one that I would potentially do out of any of these. But the big ones, and I'm sure the ones you guys want to do, are going to be the egg baskets. Now let's go ahead and break down the math behind the egg baskets. So currently the simple basket you guys can see right here is 425 chocolate. Now, if you guys don't know this, when it comes to these baskets, we have the simple, which could also just be called the small, right? It's, it's gonna be small eggs. They're gonna be uh, the smallest potential, but also small eggs have been kind of good in recent years. Now, the number one thing I do wanna tell you guys is we never know if eggs are gonna be good, okay? We don't know if they're gonna be good, if they're gonna be mid, if they're gonna be really, really good. It really varies. It all comes down to EA and what they decide to do. How good of eggs do they want to make these? So in reality, I can't tell you necessarily which one is the best, although I have one that I'm personally targeting. Uh, but as you guys see, the simple basket here, based on the math, 20.9 thousand coins per is what you're spending every single time you get one of these. Now, if you want to do the breakdown on that, right, and you say, okay, well, what overall would this pack have to be every single pack for me to go ahead and make coins? Well, based on current math, 91 overalls are currently selling for 24,000 coins. So if you do this simple pack right here, every egg that you get, you're pretty much hoping that you are going to get at least a 91 overall when it opens up on Easter Day. I will let you know, though, the simple basket, as you guys can see, and the rest of these as well, they say simple or better. So it is possible that you could pull better. You could potentially pull, like, an extravagant egg maybe out of this as well, right? So that would be really, really good. But you would have to get, like, a 91 overall or 92 overall because, obviously, on Easter Day when all these eggs open up, uh, there's going to be a lot of people that have these eggs. They're going to be opening up there, and then the market is probably going to take a little bit of a hit. 92 overalls, quick sell for 26,000 coins coins uh 26,000 training that is so based on the current market lock of being locked at one they'd be 26k at bare floor which i don't think they would hit there so you're kind of hoping for like a 91 or 92 if this pack opens up and it's like a 90 plus overall i still feel like that's solid again we don't really know what ea is going to do but obviously with some of these eggs these small ones the simple the nice the excellent the extravagant but they all have different eggs so these are going to be kind of like promo correlated and it'll be overall plus right like the nice basket here will be kind of a medium level now this is 840 chocolates and based on the math of that guys this comes out to about 41,000 coins per that you guys are going to go ahead and do now again if you're looking at okay what do i need to really pull there well again it will probably be about 92s because they're 40,000 coins currently but they are 26,000 training 93s are 42,000 training so you're kind of hoping to see again something over a 90 overall guaranteed plus pack out of those uh then we have the excellent basket which is going to be the large eggs uh and that right there is 79.6 thousand coins per egg that you guys are going to be uh spending on here now that would be again about 93 overalls going for 71k but you're going to have to get above a 93 you're gonna have to hit like a 94 overall at least out of these larges now could these potentially be something like 94 plus eggs i feel like that's more so the extravagant I feel like the extravagant is likely going to end up being like a 94 or 93 plus overall for whatever promo potentially uh, that you could pull. Now, I haven't really opened up any of these eggs just yet. I definitely plan on opening up a lot of them to kind of see what promos may correlate to them. And the extravagant, guys, this is 240,000 coins that you are spending per pack. Now, here is the thing. With the extravagant, you obviously have the best chance at pulling one of the rare LTD eggs. As you guys can see, I do actually have two rare LTD eggs myself. Now, what can these potentially be? If you manage to pull one of these, how much value can you get? Well, as you can see, you can quick sell it for 9560 chocolate now if you paid attention to earlier in this video that is a 98 overall so we would assume that these are going to be 98 overalls so if you open up that extravagant and you get one of these rare eggs man you're uh you're gonna make quite a bit of coins now let's say a lot of people end up getting these rare eggs here 98 overalls just at bare minimum here in terms of training points 
they are 410,000 training points. So you're going to make at minimum 410k, but you're going to make over that because they shouldn't hit the floor of 98. So we're talking 450, 460, maybe even uh, beyond that, depending on the player, right, with the value of the player itself. So to me, in my personal opinion, I feel like the extravagant, and again, this is a big risk because... We don't exactly know what EA is going to do. Again, we've had years the eggs are good. We've had years where the eggs are bad. But me personally, I am definitely going to be opening up as many of these extravagants as I possibly can. Just simply because if they are, you know, the LTDs, if you get a bunch of LTDs, well, you're going to make profit on those every single time, right? You're going to make a lot of profit on those every single time because you're going to get 98 overalls, maybe even 99s. Potentially, they open to 99s. We shall see. But the extravagant at minimum, you would hope hope would be like a 94 or 95 potentially plus overall now 94 overalls currently going for 110k 95 overalls currently going for 166k so if you got like the the worst thing possible right let's say you get like a 94 overall well you're losing like a hundred thousand coins per egg that you get but if you get a rare you get an ltd you're making a lot there. You also want to mention that as you guys can see right here, it is 4,900 chocolates. Now, can we kind of equate that to, you know, the overalls of like how much of the chocolates are on these players, like 98s being 9,560 chocolate, 95s being 2,420. So should we assume that when you open up this extravagant, because it does cost you 4,900 chocolate, that at bare minimum, this is going to give you like a 96 or 97 overall. I wish if that was the case and these are guaranteed to be every single one like a 96 overall that's 286,000 coins right now which would be profit every single time will that be the case we'll see but make no mistake about it every single year it is a risk to go ahead and spend your chocolates your currency whatever to get eggs because you just don't know if they're gonna be good you don't know if they're gonna be bad and i can't tell you if they're gonna be good or bad because i don't know it really comes down to how good ea wants to make them but personally speaking here i'm definitely gonna be looking into the extravagance some years the simple basket truly is the best value some years it just straight up is especially if you guys get lucky and you manage to pull like an ltd egg out of this whatever and then we also have the mystery basket now the mystery does cost you 32.9k and it could give you really anything. You could get simples out of this. You could get mediums, whatever. Uh, but literally, if you open this up and you get a medium, you're saving about 8,000 coins if you get a medium right there. Now, if you pull a simple, you're losing about 12,000 coins every single time you open up one of these and you get a simple basket so in my personal opinion in terms of spending your chocolate i think the best ways to spend it would be on the bnd 98 for 260k i feel like it's definitely worth it to get some of the players like andrew thomas you can wait until part two to open up the pack as well uh, and you could get maybe in a, a different 98 that you want in there uh but aside from that i'm personally gonna be opening up some extravagance and also gonna be opening up some simples because i just feel like the simples man some years they're really good now they could open up and be terrible what if they're like 87 plus 88 plus however ea wants to make them they could be really bad but they also could be pretty good so with that being said guys i hope you did enjoy the video and if you did make sure you just drop a like in the video and of course hit that sub button down below let me know which way you guys personally gonna go about it but as i said i'm opening up some simples i'm probably gonna open up all of them to be honest i obviously want to try to get as many of the rare eggs i possibly can uh and i'm just really really hoping the extravagance are hopefully pretty good.